What's up, Galaxy? It's time for Bet the Soup, the show where everything Star Wars related is up for discussion. I am your host, Gil Garcia. Today in the Bantha Tank, we're taking a look at the 2008 Star Wars Battle Pack featuring, hold it, the Pit of Carcoon, the Sarlacc Pit. That scene was just so epic. Everybody's kicking butt and Luke and then Bubble Fett flies down and like owns the whole place. Uh, I mean, he fell in the pit, didn't he? Yeah. He's dead. No, he's not. He's coming back. Fett. The battle pack line was pretty cool, but nothing beats the Sarlacc pit. This was exclusive only at Target. Now, it's finally in the Bantha tank. Let's take a look at it. The Sarlacc was dangerous, carnivorous creature, as well as one of Jabba the Hutt's favorite pets that inhabited the Great Pit of Carcoon in the Dune Sea of Tatooine. It shared common ancestry with other species, including Rattars. Sarlaccs began their lives as spores and were able to travel great distances. When a male and female encountered one another, the smaller male would parasitically feed off the female, diminishing her size while increasing his own. Once the male reached the female's original size, he would burst, releasing millions of spores into the air and atmosphere. A hundred meters in height, its entire body was buried in sand, along with its massive mouth and beaked tongue. The Sarlacc had several appendages that branched off from its buried body and many stomachs. The creature swallowed its prey whole and its mouth contained rows of hundreds of spear-like teeth which kept its victims from climbing back out. Victims of the Sarlacc were injected with immobilizing neurotoxins that caused constant pain and while still conscious, digested for a millennia. Now here is the Star Wars Battle Pack Sarlacc playset. This was a Target exclusive. It's a little more rare and never really coming across it these days. I picked it up at Dallas Vintage Toys. The set was awesome. It came with a cell barge. You got this highly detailed Sarlacc playset and actually a couple figures. The packaging actually came with this extra little piece of sand, and it looked a little off. I'll let you be the judge. It was actually just a thin piece of blow mold plastic, but it's kind of cool looking. I mean, you can add it for an extra piece to extend your diorama, and it just pulls right off. Um, really kind of neat. Set it up in a full display. But underneath is the real magic. Here is the actual playset. You can see the paint texture is incredible the sand is all gritty it's got all the rocks and texture that you can see the dark shading is awesome and looking in it just looks really creepy with that flesh tone plastic the tentacles with the highlights all around the tentacles have individual little suction cups all around them that look super creepy looking at these spear like teeth it's just horrifying the beak has a really awesome texture all around it. It's got this just really cool paint app. There's just weird little craters and boils on the flesh part. The tentacles are pliable, so you can bend them any way you want to wrap figures and pray up. The smaller tentacles are pretty much in place, but they do move around if you were uh, using them for play. Here's a look at the beak. It looks awesome. It's just uh, kind of a rubbery plastic kind of soft it's pliable so you can move it around open the mouth up close it snap it uh, the same thing with the small tentacles same type of plastic you can move them around use them for play but they're pretty much stationary and molded that way to stay in place but the big long tentacle here is movable and it has got a wire inside so you can bend it and grab people's legs and eat them up Here's another really great thing that you can do. If you're an original trilogy connoisseur, the uh, beak can actually be removed and you can display or play with your Sarlacc pit the way it originally was in the movie. You can see the beak comes in two separate pieces, the tongue and the roof of the mouth. You just clip them back together. But there is the Sarlacc pit before the added CGI effects. Um, the sand base goes over the top part um, it does have little clips so you can fit them back into the little grooves and keep your sand base in place while you're playing or displaying. And there it is before the altered CGI versions hit, you can display the way we first saw it. 
um, it's kind of neat you can throw your figures in and you know let them go through I actually like the altered and unaltered ways the unaltered is awesome because that's the first way I ever saw it and the new altered CGI beak is really cool to me because it really got me excited I was in a prime age of Star Wars and you know it, I thought it was super cool so it got me really pumped the spikes were amazing it's a really fun playset lots of play value it's a fun amazing display diorama love it upon arrival at the great pit of carcoon skywalker using his recently developed skills as a jedi knight rescued his rebel friends and led to a number of jabba's guards becoming victims of the sarlacc pit instead including fett no it is such an awesome diorama piece i've got so many figures from return of the jedi and that whole jabba the hut scene it's just perfect to set up your cell barge all your figures throwing them into the sarlacc pit Epic. If you like what you see, we would really appreciate a like on our video and go ahead and subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date on everything Bantha Soup. We do reviews, we build customs, we pretty much talk everything Star Wars. And while you're at it, look us up on our Facebook page, hit that like button and join our social community. Send us comments, send us pictures, send us ideas for future shows. We would love to hear from you. Hey Galaxy, thank you so much for watching. My name is Gil and this is Bantha Soup.